Hello everybody, this is Renz Hernandez and I'm so happy that I will be able to teach you again and on how to make a lighting design in Photoshop of course uh, using dialogues also and uh, in this time I'm going to teach you on how to make RGB or changing lights uh, in Photoshop and actually this is the image provided by the client um, the, we are asked to provide a lighting design for this fence as you can see there are too many obstacles in here on the foreground and then if we try to put lights in here 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 or here we cannot really see the design because there are obstacles here so we have to edit this one and I will show you what I did in the dialogues. This is the result. Rendered this already, and then I uh, transferred the rendered or ray traced images in the Photoshop. And then later on, I will uh, show you how I put it here, how I placed the lights in this uh, columns or post. And then here, I will show you the edited uh, picture. Voila! It's clear now, right? So, we, ha we need to clear this one. We need to clear this foreground, so here's what I did. Okay, there are several uh, layers here, the grass, etc. And then, of course, we want to show to the client that it's night time. So here, it's night. So it's clear already, right? So there are no uh, obstacles in here. So the better thing to the light that we want to show to the client this is the effect in order for us to uh, better present a design to the client it should be at least realistic it's better to uh, show this image to the client instead of this one because this one is a little bit more realistic because the structures or the background is re uh, an, an actual image or a realistic structure so what I'm going to teach you is on how to make this light the uh, sky, the foreground and the lights, it will also adjust depending on the lights that I want. Let's say this one, it's changing right, the sky and the foreground and also the light. Now it's a little bit greener. We don't want to include the, uh, the sky and the foreground, we just want the lights to change. So what we are going to do is to click this white, the mask or mask, and then we're done but I think before that we want to remove this this added lights this affected surface of wall or fence in here so what we want to do is to remove the lights first or I think that's the better idea to do I mean the better thing to do is to remove the light first and then click all delete 
and then add the Now we are now erasing the mast on, on this surface. We have to keep the mast or mask, I think mask on this on the light area. We are just going to delete the mask of the fence surface. Actually, um, if you're having a hard time or let's say your laptop is not that fast when it comes to rendering, especially if you cannot achieve the color that you want or if the color is not available in the color filter in Dialogs, you can actually just go to Photoshop and then explore. explore. Voila! We are now ready to change the hue or color of this area. I mean this lights. You see, it's becoming green, yellowish, pinkish, violet. It's better, right? If you want me to teach you some uh, Photoshop techniques regarding the lighting design, just comment on my Facebook account, I mean uh, YouTube account, YouTube channel. Interior light or interior uh, design in the structure or to make it more realistic I can also uh, teach you on how to do that just comment uh, on this video